Ecosystems of the Willamette National Forest Safe comes down to a smelly but useful nutrient enrichment program. Right now, the Department of Fish and Wildlife is deliberately throwing salmon carcasses into the Santiam River in wooded areas. KEZI 9 News reporter Noah Chavez shows us how the fish help the ecosystem but can be dangerous for your pets. The beautiful scenery. The perfect temperature. And oh yeah, the falling fish. Tuesday morning, the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife headed out to continue their month-long nutrient enrichment program in the Willamette National Forest. And you have to imagine Oregon before there were dams. Fish could go to the ocean, they could swim all the way up to these streams and creeks, and with them, their bodies would be full of nutrients. Just like the Easter Bunny hiding Easter eggs, Reed Fisher will go to a total of 12 specific locations along the Santiam River and leave hundreds of salmon carcasses for the native wildlife to eat, giving their ecosystem the nutrients it needs to continue on while still smelling incredibly bad. Oh, <laughs> yeah, they. Twenty men I know these do smell really bad. <laughs> That's crazy. I've been dealing with salmon carcasses my entire career. You kind of can't escape them when you're a fish biologist. So, yeah, everybody has a different nose tolerance, but uh, you kind of never fully get used to it. I have a hard time eating fish now. With one stop completed and around 20 carcasses dropped into the river, we head deeper into the Willamette National Forest and do it all again. Typically, we do the north and south Saniam River in my district and right around 12 spots per river. So we try and spread out the carcasses pretty far. Now, these dead fish carcasses are just that, carcasses, making them extremely dangerous to both humans and dogs if consumed, which is why the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife is urging the public to keep their eyes peeled when walking or hiking along streams because these fish can be deadly. If you own a dog, you need to keep them away from these carcasses. And fish carcasses in general in Oregon tend to have a parasite that hosts a bacteria called Neorickettsia. And that can make your dog incredibly sick. And with three to seven days, it can kill them. With another successful day of drop-offs, Fisher says it won't take long for the wildlife to find the remains and for the nutrients to spread, barring any human interaction. You do not want to eat these fish, that's yeah, for sure. Yeah, they'll make you sick. Yeah, they won't, um, they won't kill you in the same way that they affect specifically domesticated dogs, but um, yeah, they will make you very sick if you eat them raw. And yeah, they're, you'd be surprised, a lot of people, they see the pile of carcasses and they go dive after them thinking they just scored big. <laughs> Reporting in the Willamette National Forest, Noah Chavez, KZI, 9 News.